Hello friends, today we are going to see the next question of Code Vita which is actually 3 palindrome. This question was being asked in Code Vita 2020 Zone 2 which was actually held on 15th and 16th of August. So firstly we will be seeing like what is the question, why people were not able to solve this question, then what is the appropriate logic that would be perfectly working against the public and the private test cases and then finally it's implementation right but before that because there is a term palindrome i just want to tell you like what is the palindrome and how it would be used in this particular equation okay but i have a challenge for you all guys the students who have completely submitted their questions on code Vita platform either in the zone 1 or on zone 2 2020 they can just send us at the what is the question their answer that was being solved against the public and the private test cases along with their name and code and their picture so that we can just put that picture and your code in our youtube channel and we'll be writing that it has been contributed by you guys okay so this is a gen like uh, it is for you you can just share it either on our telegram channel or on the mail or on instagram everything is given in the description okay let's just start with this particular question for now my name is anjal and you are watching our channel the inside coders so let's begin as the first task is you must know what is the palindrome what is the palindrome Say we have an input number 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 and like I am just splitting the number for now, what we need to do, we just need to reverse the number. The reverse number is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 again. Okay, that means if I just see the number from left to right or from right to left, if both the numbers are absolutely same, that means it is a palindrome number. Or sometimes people, what they used to do, they just check it simultaneously from both sides. Simultaneously, right? That means 1 and 1, first and last. Second and last second, third and last third, fourth and last fourth, fifth and last fifth. It was five itself, right? If these elements are same, that means it is a palindrome. But you know where the students like they just get confused. So I have a number six or four or eight or any of the single number, right? Then is it a palindrome or not? You know, 50 to 60 percent students say no. But why? The thing is reverse of four is again four. So every number or every character, if it is a single character, then every time it is a palindrome. Okay. This was the only thing the students were getting confused in this particular question. So that is the reason I just took with this example first. Okay. Now let's see what is actually the question, what is asked in the question and how to solve it. Right. So this is the question. In this, we are given an input string. Okay. This string can be split in exactly three palindromes. That means there are three substrings which are actually the palindromes. Matlab. Okay, let's see what is the meaning. So, if you work from left to right, note this point left to right, we have to split into the substrings such that we get three palindromes. Okay, let's just take with the example. But before that, if there is any case that no palindrome is existing or it is not able to make the three palindromes, then this print impossible, right? So let's just take from the example, then you will understand. The input should be anything it's between from A to Z. Output should be three substrings, right? If it is not, then it should be impossible. So let's take the example. This is an input string. So can you see Nayan? After that, Naman and after that, T-E-N-E-T. -E -E this is basically three palindromes. So this is what we have to print in different lines. Okay. Okay. Say if you have only this input, Nayan, then Aman, but Aman is not a palindrome. And then T-E-N-E-T. -E -E that means it was not possible to make the three palindromes. Simply print impossible. Second input most important see it's a, a a a yes obviously it is a palindrome but can you see it can be like divided into many ways it can be written as 1a i just told you every time if it is a single character it's 4 1 a b c z x y anything then it is every time a palindrome a a a again a palindrome and a 
but other cases can also like these have many combinations first 3a then aa 2a then a and a like it can have a number of combinations right so like which one should be printed as an output this is the point right so this one should be the output if all the characters are same that means first in second should be like single characters and rest all if it is like 10 characters then one two here other elements in the last one but one more point can you see this question again i could say that we should have a b like this is a, like what should be the output for that c in this situation because if we like see the b has four elements of a on the left and four on the right if i take it from here then also it's a kind of problem i just told you know every time you just need to take the first element as the smallest one so since you are taking the first element as the like you are just uh, like taking one element from the left then to make it a palindrome you always also need to take one element from the right so this is the way that you have to solve it right so let's see the, what is the logic to this question so the very first thing is if the length is less than 3 as you know the length 3 is less than 3 actually means either the length would be 1 or the length would be 2 right in this situation we can't make three palindromes because we are not even having the three elements then how can we make that so simply we just have to print the impossible next task if my length is exactly equals to 3 obviously that means i have three elements say it's abc and we have to make three palindromes that means i have only one alternative to divide it into a b and c respectively right so i just told you one element is always a palindrome that means these are the three palindromes so what i did whatever is the string as an input zeroth index is the first palindrome first index is the second and the second index is the third fine if both these conditions doesn't exist that means in the else part what we need to do so this is my one of the test case a b a c d so a b a is one c is second and d is third now a b a b c it's clear that b a b should be a palindrome and c and a are like the other ones why not i am taking a b a first I just explained you know that first if such is uh, like uh, if such thing exists then firstly you should have a smaller one right and you can just give it to the other ones whatever is the big okay so this was the only reason why I didn't take ABA and then BC so we also have to make the logic accordingly only I'll be telling you how to do that don't worry so let's just take with a very basic and a simple example first then we'll be going to this complicated sort of examples see i'm having three things a a a b b b c c c as simple as that it should be a a a as a first string b b b as second c c c as the third one right how to do that but first of all i'll be taking one one i am just what i am doing i am having this string i am just rejecting this a from here and i have just taken this a here now what i am doing whatever is the left string it is actually two times a three times b and 3 times C. I am just taking that here in these possible combinations. Now what is the next task? Divide it, this string, what is the left one, in two parts. First of all A only and rest all is the second one. A A rest one is the second. A A B rest is the like. Just divide it and you will be getting this. But till when you have to go so that there is only one element left at the end. Why? Because one string is considered as this one, second string is this orange color and the third string is this blue color. So we should have at least one element here, one element at the end, right? It was the condition given in the question. This is the reason why we are moving like that. And what we need to check, we just need to check whether this string which is actually here, this purple color, this mustard color and this blue color. If anywhere I just get all of these three as the palindrome, I will just simply print that. See, this was A was a palindrome. The last C was also a palindrome from this situation. This was also a palindrome. But in this situation, I was not having this element as a palindrome. 
again this was also not a palindrome it was it was also a palindrome but it is not i think it, it like if you are not getting it let's just see the next case then you will be getting it in a better way that means if i was just taking one a from this this string i was not getting any of the correct answer so what is the next task take two elements that is first two it's a a if it is a palindrome then only i have to go down otherwise we don't need to do anything right then again i am dividing the string into two parts such that there should be at least one element left is as a third string right so what i am doing i am checking this is a palindrome yes then only i have gone down but i am checking is this or this both are they both getting a palindrome or not but still we were not getting that so repeat it for the next step also that means for 3 now what i am doing i am taking three elements from starting that's a a a is it a palindrome yes that means i need to go for the next combinations is b a palindrome yes but it is not is b b a palindrome yes but b c c is not is b b b a palindrome yes and what about c c c yes that means what i just want to say here in this situation the first string was also a palindrome second string is also a palindrome and simultaneously whatever is the third string it is again a palindrome if such situation exists we just have to stop and we just have to print these are the particular palindromes a a a b b b and c c c that is these are the three palindromes that we need to print but the point is how we are going how we are doing it we are starting from one element a we are not getting any such situation so take two elements from starting then we take took a a we only have to perform these particular steps if these are a palindrome see if it is itself is not a palindrome then why to go down because we want three palindromes right now we are going for a a a and in this situation i like i get one of like all the three palindromes if here also i didn't get any palindrome then i would have checked for b also the next one next one and i would have gone till the end the same way right so this was the task that we have to do so what for this one i am taking a loop as a so i'll be taking this one i'll be explaining it in the program don't worry the second would be a to b that is b b b and other would be b onwards so these would be the three palindromes that we'll be getting okay so uh, let's just do one thing let's just understand one more example the next example is a a a a a so we just know that first and second element should be single a and rest all should be in the third one right so when we were at the first element we just have to consider the one element that is a right we just took a is it a palindrome obviously it is we are checking for the next element but how we just divide this rest of the string in two parts firstly we take only one element and rest all are as the third substring then two elements then rest all in the third 3 4 that means we just increment one by one and we just have to stop when we get a palindrome as both of them right if both of them are a palindrome we just have to stop so in this situation first was obviously a palindrome then only we have gone down we have to check is both of them are they are they both <coughs> palindrome yes they were so simply what was the task we just have to print it so what we would print this is the second one and this is the third one right this is the answer for this particular question so these are the three palindromes this is how we are going let's just see the logic well this is the logic for finding palindrome you can also use a simple logic to reverse and then use it it's completely up to your choice that how you have to find the palindrome firstly we are just taking the input as in the str in a string okay what is the next task we just need to check the condition if it is less than 3 that means only one or two elements we can't make a string of three elements so how is it possible to get the three substrings so just print impossible l if that means else if if it is exactly equals to 3 that means a b c a is the first b is the second and c is the third right so this is a way if we have three elements and what is if in the else that means if it is not any of the two conditions then what to do firstly i am having a loop a which is moving from 1 and it's going till minus 
first of all why from one the reason is we are just checking that first element as if it was a a a a a the first element should be checked as a that means the zeroth element is considered as the first palindrome because it is only one element and one element is always a palindrome and why till minus 1 i just told you now if you have a last element as c then we have to consider it because we want three palindromes one would be the left one it's from the zeroth index and it is from the last index so this is how we are going so this is the reason why from 1 and minus 1 we are checking whatever is this first string it is till a it's used for getting the substring in java if you have to do that you have to use the substring function here slicing is directly done by using colon that means 0 till a that means first substring is it a palindrome we are checking it from here if it is true then it will just simply return me true if the condition is true then only i'll be executing these particular steps i just told you na if my first string is not palindrome we are not going to check the below steps this is the reason why we are not doing that now i have an another loop in nesting which is always starting from a plus 1 that means whatever was the value of a it's starting from a plus 1 why because first element is being considered as the first substring so i have to check from the next element whether i am getting two more palindromes or not till when till the length of the string if i am getting two more palindromes so i am just checking it if i am getting both the palindromes that is the reason i am using and here so if it is true why for a to b because this was a and this is b similarly b onwards if i just get two palindromes then i simply have to print all of these and i have to exit because no need to do anything else but if this is a can false if it is not working in this else i am just having this print impossible because it can be possible that i have a string of 10 characters but still it is not a palindrome so just print impossible let me just show you how to do that in the code let's just understand there in a better way so you can see that i am having the same exactly the same code that i was showing you there okay i am just running it for now So I'm printing it for the given test case. One of the given test case, it was nine, 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 t, e, n, e, t. So it's giving me the correct result. But uh, what I have done is I am using two print statements for now. So let me just tell you these are the results for the output. Let's just understand it in a better way first. I'm taking the basic input as a, 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 b, 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 and c, c, c. So can you see when it was the first element that is only a it was making these substrings this was the second one and this is the third one i had stopped and both of them are a palindrome and yes then if i was not getting it in a first one so what i am doing i am taking two elements so this is two times a repeating the same task but still i am not getting anywhere where both of them are a palindrome because we need both right So I was I went to the third one when I was in A A A. We got B B B and C C C. That means we just have to print them and exit. That means no need to check further. Okay, let's just take one more example. If it is A A A A A A A. Okay. So you can see on the very first task only I just got first A first substring second substring third substring. It was true. So it's just printing me the output. But let me tell you a special test case. It's if it is a a b b a a. This is my first substring. Then b c c b is my second substring, and d d d is my third substring. So let me just show you. First case, it just it has just checked, but it hasn't got any of the case where both all the three are proper palindromes. Same way, it just checked for two. Again, they were not getting it. So for first it was taking only a then it took two times a the third case should be it has taken a a and b so when it has taken a a and b it was not a palindrome so this if condition was false in this situation so it hasn't made these cases for now right if it is not a palindrome see in this all cases it was not a palindrome in the sixth case it was possible that it is a palindrome it, it was a a b b a a so it just checked for the other cases also and in the last case it was getting b c c b and d d d that means this one is the first as second and third 
so simply it has printed all these values and just exit okay let me just do one thing i am doing a a a b b b now it's c c c and d d d see this d d d is the third palindrome c c c is the second but i am not getting any of the first palindrome right so when i just do one thing so it is at the end showing me that it is impossible to get any of the palindrome from this question so this case will also exist so for that i am just printing impossible here i hope you are able to understand this question still if you have any doubts you can just let us know in the comment box and if you have any suggestions any feedback anything just let us know there and secondly if any one of you want to contribute your own code then you can just mail us or you can just send it on the telegram or on the instagram so that will be putting a video in which will be telling that this code has been contributed by this particular person i hope aapko ye video lecture pasand aaya hoga agar aapko koi bhi doubt ya suggestion hai to aap comment box mein zarur dijiyega aur agar aapne video ko ab tak like ya share nahi kiya hai to jaldi se video ko like aur zyada se zyada share kare and please subscribe my channel and press the bell icons for latest updates shukriya dhanyawad thank you